Hi, good morning Anton. My name is Sienna Shane. I'm your invigilator for the OET speaking session on the 9th of January 2020. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Can you tell me your full name for the record, please? My full name is Anton Armando. And what is your candidate number, please? My candidate number is 2122232422. Thank you. And you are taking this test as a nurse. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Thank you. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Here it is. The warm-up questions are not assessed and are a chance for us to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right. How do you practice self-care? The job of a nurse is very challenging. Along with the emotional pressure, there may be some other issues, such as job timing, night shift, etc. So, we have to be fit and fine for this job, to be available all the time. That's why I exercise and meditate daily. Along with this, I have some stress-busting hobbies, such as gardening and cooking. These all help me a lot. How do you respond when your friends ask for your diagnosis outside of the clinical setting? I have faced these types of situations many times. I have a family friend who would ask me about symptoms he was having and what I thought he should do. I told him clearly that I could not give him a diagnosis outside of the clinic where I worked. He finally made an appointment to see the doctor there. It is always the best practice to treat patients in a holistic, professional manner. So we have all the right information to do what is best for them. What do you think about effective patient and family education? Effective patient education is needed to satisfy the patients and their family. Every patient has their own learning style. So, we have to understand their learning style and adapt accordingly. For example, some patients want to read the complete medical instructions, detailed information. On the other hand, some just want the necessary information. So, we have to figure out what each patient needs. It is very important to include the family in the treatment process because they are the main caretakers for the patient in the future. So, it is our duty to explain to them all the process and tell them how they can help the patient. What are your strengths and weaknesses as a nurse? My biggest strengths are my compassion and my ability to solve complex problems. In my previous job, an older man came to the hospital that had night terrors. He would wake up screaming every few hours. I took some time to talk to him. I quickly found that just 10 minutes of conversation took away his fear. After that, I have spent the next five nights with him. His night terrors left and the other patients on the ward could sleep peacefully again. My biggest weakness is that I forget to eat my meals when I get involved with the patients. What is your most incredible skill as a nurse? I think my most significant ability is to listen to what a patient tells me. From a patient perspective, it is very frustrating that no one hears you. I have spent five years in the medical field working directly with patients and find that active listening can go in helping make someone comfortable. As a result, I was appointed as a trainer for a patient advocacy program to teach other nurses. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to role play now. I'll take the part of the patients or perhaps a relative and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when three minutes are up. You can ask me if there is anything you are not sure about and you can make notes on the role play card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to me at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you.
Your preparation time is over. You can now start your roleplay. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Hello, good morning Sienna. My name is Anton Armando, one of the nurses in the clinic. I will be attending you here today. How are you doing? Good morning nurse. I am doing great. Thank you for asking. Good to hear that. Well, to confirm the reason for your visit, may I know, you are here for the removal of stitches, wound cleaning, or redressing, or for a follow-up checkup, please. I am here for the removal of stitches. Thank you for the confirmation, Sienna. Before proceeding further, may I know do you have any concerns, please? Nurse, the doctor told me that I have something called squamous cell carcinoma, which I think is just another name for skin cancer. So, I am really quite worried. Your concern is understandable. For your better understanding, I will explain it to you. Okay. That will be a helpful nurse. All right. What you have to keep in mind is that squamous cell carcinoma of the skin is usually not life-threatening, though it can be aggressive if untreated. Oh, I see. Squamous cell carcinoma of the skin refers to a type of cancer that forms in the squamous cells, which make up the middle and outer layers of the skin. Okay. Now, you can be left off your worries, as you have already undergone a surgery, and there are many other treatment options available for squamous cell carcinoma. Oh, really? Yes, mostly the skin condition can be completely removed with relatively minor surgery, or occasionally with medicine applied to the skin. Which treatments are best for you depends on the size, location, and aggressiveness of the tumor, as well as your own preferences. Am I clear for you? Yes, nurse. Sienna, I assure you that the surgery helps to remove the lesion, and thus cancer is unlikely to spread. Okay, that is something good to hear. What you have to keep in mind is that, pay attention, and monitor your skin regularly. It is important that, you check for new, or changing spots in your skin. A regular GP's checkup is highly recommended. Sure, I will follow your instructions. Glad to hear that. And I hope my explanation is clear to you. Yes, of course. I have a better understanding of what squamous cell carcinoma is now. That's great. Nurse, I wonder, am I likely to need more surgeries to remove other lesions in the future? Your question is appreciable. Perhaps, I am not the right person for such a diagnosis. Your GP, who has in-depth knowledge about your condition, is the best person to answer this. It's all right. By the way, Sienna, I would like to know your habits when in the sun. Nurse, I always wear Factor 30 sunscreen, or higher, and I wear a hat when out in the sun. However, I think it's too late, because the damage has already been done. Your current practice is absolutely necessary. Also, what you have said is a fact, and I too agree that some damage is historical. Nonetheless, I advise you to continue covering up in the sun, as it is essential to prevent further damage. Sure, nurse. I will follow it. So, Sienna, how about your wound post-surgery? Is there any pain? No, nurse. Have you found any discharge from the wound? No, nothing. All right. So you are ready for the stitch removal. Isn't it, Sienna? Nurse, I am a bit confused. Is it too early to remove the stitches? Your thought is considerable. I will explain to you the reasons for the removal of stitches now. You may please. Typically the stitches are removed after 7 to 14 days. Since the doctor has assessed your wound and no other complications have been figured out, the doctor suggested the removal of stitches. Okay. Prescription done by the doctor will be in a favorable way for your wound healing. So it will be the best option, right? Of course. The doctor would have found it the best way possible. Okay. If the doctor says it's the time, then let's remove the stitches. Sienna, you have to follow some wound aftercare. I will brief you on that. Okay. Keep your stitch wound clean. When going out, keep it covered and dry. This will help you to heal the wound faster and with no chance of getting infected. All right, nurse. Sienna, can I have your consent to have the stitches removed, please? Sure, nurse. 
You can remove the stitches. Thank you. That is the end of your Oichi speaking roleplay. All the very best. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please, like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.